本当に全然え英語がいいですかじゃあこんにちは皆さん Hey everybody アシュリーでございます Whimsical Musical Audio Blog No.1 So this is really new on audio blog、um, This is partly because I'm getting really lazy. I'm in a creative writing class and so I have to write a lot. So I'm kind of getting tired of writing. So here you get to hear my、um, lovely voice instead telling you what's going on in my life right now. And <laughs> hopefully that's okay. So my friends have been asking me if I got accepted in the Japanese internships I've been applying for. My answer to them is not yet. November is the golden month, it seems. I've been told that both internships will reply by then, so that only gives me about a month and a half to train somebody new at work, find a place to store all the junk I'm not taking with me to Japan, and really buckle down and learn how to become a teacher because I've never taken classes on that. That's not my major, that's not anything I've studied before, so this will be quite interesting. The internship will last from January 2010 to December 2010. So, yes, that means that Rin's coming home three months before I get home, which Ugh, that didn't work out quite how I wanted it, but oh well.、Um, also, I'll be missing a lot of book releases and movie releases that I've been waiting for that are coming out in the summer of 2010, so drat that. But it's all for the sake of Japanese, right? Yeah.、Um, a common topic that's been coming up commonly <laughs> in、uh, church is、um, about the angels serving in our lives, meaning the people around us、um, kind of act like our angels. And recently, I have come to the understanding that that is, that is quite true.、Um, I went to my Doctrine and Covenants class on Monday, and I was feeling really sick.、Um, there's been something going around in the air because everybody's been getting sick. But I was, I was hit pretty hard with it. So、um, after I took the test at the beginning of class, I told my friend sitting next to me, who I, who I really don't know, but you know, I, just, I just met her because we sit next to each other, I told her that I was going to go home. And so when I came back on Wednesday, because it's a Monday and Wednesday class, she was there and she asked me how I felt. And I told her I was feeling a little better, but I still wasn't quite up to par <laughs> with what I could be. And she said, Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. And then she handed me a typed up copy of all her notes that she took, which I was just blown away. I mean, obviously, that's something that's not, that's not extraordinary, but. It was extraordinary to me. It was incredible that she took the time to do that for me and print it out. And it just, it was, it was incredible to me. So I know that's true. I know we have angels in our lives. <laughs> All right, the last topic that I want to audio blog about is how intricate languages are, which that may sound really boring,、um, like some linguistics lecturer or something like that. But really,、um, learning Japan, <laughs> Japanese, <laughs> learning Japanese、um, for my major has been really challenging. At first, you know, I'm learning all these little phrases and, and, and vocabulary words, and I think I'm hot stuff because I, I can say, like, oh, I, I want to know what the toilet is, or I eat fruit, you know, something stupid like that. But、um, really, now in Japanese 202,、uh, we're learning a lot of nuances. Little, little ways to say things differently that, that just add to the sentence.、Um, making the language really intricate, really beautiful, but also really complex.、Um, and all of my classmates seem to get it, which that totally hits my pride because、uh, all through high school and in the beginning levels of Japanese, I've been at the top of my class. But now I'm falling behind because everyone else is getting it and I'm forgetting everything and I'm just, I'm not retaining anything. So I've been、um, using podcasts and I've been reading little Japanese books and, and watching movies and stuff.、Um, but still, it's, it's really difficult. So I'm really looking forward to going to Japan and living there for a year if I get both internships. Because when I went there, In July of 2007, I was only there for two weeks, but because I was speaking Japanese every day constantly,、um, my Japanese skyrocketed. Like, I, I totally was getting it. And by the time I had to leave to go back to America, I, I didn't want to because all of a sudden I'm immersed in this culture and this language and I'm, I'm becoming a new person. And I, I was able to understand people, and it just it was amazing. So, I'm really looking forward to living over there for a extended period of time. And I said this topic was about the intricacies of language, but <laughs> really it turned into the topic of Ashley is bad at Japanese and can't wait to live over there because it's easier to learn that way. 
Well, that's it for audio blog number one on Whimsical Musical. Thank you for listening. Until next time, Otsukare Sama deshita.